We're starting to see more and more, even in California, good, sane, sober, moral, prudent people are turning the tables on armed robbers. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Oakland, California. Two robbers come into a jewelry shop, guns up and blazing, but you're gonna see the fact that they turn around in a hurry because our shop owner is armed as well. Has a friend there, when he sees them come in with guns, he pulls his, shoots one time at him. He, according to the news stories I've linked in the description, they shot like 20 times back at him. You can see bullets flying everywhere. They're just winging shots in any direction. And once they do, he is gonna come back to his original spot, fire seven more times at them. He says he thinks he got one of them in the shoulder. They are all going to, both rather, going to run off. Police have not caught these guys, even though, again, our owner said he shot one of them. He is then going to close his security door and call the cops. Go watch the interview with him that I've linked in the description. He says that the police said he did an excellent job. They did have to take his firearm is evidence in the case. He said it was no big deal because he's got more. Today's video is sponsored by Delete Me. Did you know that there are literally hundreds of online data brokers selling your personal private information? There are for many reasons and none of them good. You have the right to protect your online privacy and that's part of covering your ASP. For me and for my family, I choose and trust Delete Me. They've been helping people protect themselves since 2011 and their mission is simple, to remove customers' information from search results. Removing your data from these brokers will help you protect yourself and your family from stalking, from harassment, and from identity theft. When you sign up, Delete Me gets to work on your behalf to remove all your personal data like phone, address, contact info, relatives, social accounts, and more from these brokers. They do all the work and send you a privacy report in seven days, then they monitor and repeat removals as needed. Delete Me is quick, simple, and hands-free. I gave them my information and they went to work immediately scrubbing my information from search results and I am very impressed with how thorough a job that they did. As somebody with a large social media presence, protecting my family is really important to me and part of that is online data security. You know, Delete Me made this really easy, automated the entire process, and I am really glad I chose them for this aspect of my personal protection. Get 20% off your Delete Me plan when you go to joindeleteme.com slash ASP and use promo code ASP at checkout. That's joindeleteme.com slash ASP code ASP. This is absolutely one of the more common ways that we see armed robberies start, that they rush into their place that they uh, are trying to rob because what they're trying to do is overwhelm, kind of shock and awe, as it were. Guns up, give me your stuff, don't give them any opportunity to defend themselves or to see what's coming. The other way they do it, obviously, is hiding as customers. But in this case, very common, dude has gun up. You can see that he has a drum magazine in it. Other dude had a stendo in his. Shocker, the fact that uh, you know criminals don't obey laws and are still gonna carry whatever the heck they want, whatever the responsible, legal, moral citizens are doing. Now, next thing that we see here, as soon as fire starts coming back their way, I don't care that they have fire superiority, they decide that they have some bacon burning on the stove and they nope right out of there. We see this time and time again from perps that when their force monopoly evaporates, they don't wanna get hurt and they bug out. Now, this is what we call FIBSA, fudge I'm being shot at. Of course, you'd much rather have FIBS, fudge I've been shot, because that puts them down much quicker, ends the threat much quicker. But that said, again, this worked very well. They buggered off as soon as there was resistance, and we see that all the time because it was significant armed resistance. Thank God he had a gun out. Now, a couple things that he did here. I love the fact that he is using a little bit of concealment. We don't see this very often on the channel that private citizens have a, an opportunity that they get to draw from concealment. The guy's attack is what allowed that, it's an oddity. But I also wanna recognize here that, I mean, he does a good job. Concealment works about as well as cover about 99% of the time for private citizens. I know some people say cover is more important because they were in the military. 
And that's true in military engagements, but for private citizen engagements, what we see on the channel again and again is concealment works just as good. He uses it really well, but I do want to note here that he kind of sticks his gun right on the kind of door sill there, and, and he would have gotten a little bit better, you know, uh, angle and a bit a little bit safer for himself if he backed off a step or so. Not just, I mean, tiniest of nitpick here, right? Like he won a pretty flawless victory here, but if he'd have backed off a little bit, he'd have had better angles and not been in as much danger and not exposed as much of himself. But as it is, he did a very good job of only showing a very small target to his, uh, you know, attackers. And that's part of why my guess is that they ran. Now, if you notice, he puts one shot on them and then gets away from them. And that one shot is enough. Now, watch what goes on here. And you see that that our robber here is pretty much NDing into the floor. <clears throat> that, that they fired 20 rounds at him. That they're just firing indiscriminately. And this is what perps do. So I want you to recognize that yes, they have two guys versus your one. They have a, a force advantage because they're both armed with handguns, whatever. But number one, they're almost never very skilled with it. Number two, they are wanton in their lack of firearm safety. So don't expect them to do what you do. And, and everyone is in danger. This is why you want to get hits, right? Because you want to put them down and make them stop shooting because everyone is in danger. As you can see, all the bullet casings flying because they're just shooting randomly and wildly in their desire to escape. Next thing here, just a little thing for our defender. You see him, he leaves, and then he pops up in exactly the same spot. As Pat McNamara is famous for saying, people are pre-programmed to pick up patterns of predictability. So, um, you know, coming around the other side of that, kind of where that window is behind the glass may have been a better idea. If you have to pop up in the same spot, you might be better served by changing levels, okay? And, and again, just to not show them the same thing that they saw last time. Now, in this case, doesn't matter. These guys were turning tail and running. Good for him on that. But, but just for all of us to think about in the future, if you pop out multiple times from the same spot, you already paid at the cost of the risk of your life for that spot the first time. Try not to have to pay that same cost again. Now then, <clears throat> they ran off. Okay, this is a win. Your job as a private citizen is to break contact they did exactly that. Absolutely a win in every sense. And I know some people are going to be like, oh man, you know, he should have got him, whatever. Hey, this is a win because he broke contact. And I love the fact that the last thing he did here was not chase them into the street, but close and lock his security door. Now, I don't know what that's going to do. And, and maybe there's like security glass on the other side of the door or something like that. So he, you know, he, they couldn't jump over that. But I love not chasing him. I love getting yourself to a better position, especially in light of the fact that he has somebody there who is pretty vulnerable that he has to protect. Good job for this store owner. Absolutely A plus effort. He covered his ASP.